Would you rather have a booster box, much like this one, or a slab, much like this one? You see, all these booster boxes have big chase pulls. For example, Chilling Rain has the Blaziken VMAX alt art. These sell for about $150 right now, and so I, what I wanted to see is how these big chase cards stack up against the value of a booster box. A sealed booster box, of course. And I'm not just saying that for investment purposes. All I'm really curious about is for your collection specifically, would you rather have a booster box or would you rather have a card that you really want? I think this is gonna be a pretty fun research project, so let's take a look. All right, so first we're gonna take a look at Chilling Rain because we talked about it earlier. We're gonna go ahead and look at the VMAX Blaziken. Also, we wanna make sure that we filter all the way to sold items. That way we can see what people are actually paying for this card. And right away, I mean, good God. All right, hang on. So this one sold, this is a CGC 9.5 Blaziken VMAX. This is one of my favorite cards in the entire Sword and Shield block. You can get it for $181. That's only like $30 more than the actual box. So if your plan is to have a unique to you collection, you may want to consider this because everybody, their grandma, their dog, they all have sealed Sword and Shield era booster boxes. They're not rare. I'm not saying they're bad. I, I love sealed booster boxes, don't get me wrong. And you can definitely collect cards and booster boxes, but they're a lot less unique than the actual cards that come from the boxes. Does that make sense? All right, let's take a look at another example. So this one sold, sold for $181, that's crazy. All right, let's look at, hmm, let's look at the Brilliant Stars Charizard, why not? All right, so a Brilliant Stars booster box, looks like looks like you can get them for around $150, right? So we're gonna say it's $150 for a Brilliant Stars booster box, which I have right here. See, look, I'm not a hypocrite. Um, I actually do have a sealed collection, or maybe that makes me a hypocrite, I don't know. All right, so let's look at a CGC 9.5 Charizard V, and we're gonna look at this from Brilliant Stars. All right, so let's go ahead and see what people are paying for this. That's the best way to know if we're getting a good deal. All right, so right here, 202, okay? So just $50 more, and you get the card you really want in a 9.5. And the, the reason why I use CGC 9.5, and this is just my personal preference, you can do whatever you want. In my opinion, a CGC 9.5 is pretty close to a PSA 10. That's just my own personal experience. You could have a different experience, but that's how it's been for me. And I always hunt down CGC 9.5s. I'm in the market for them all the time. I'm gonna buy a CGC 9.5 over buying a PSA 10 for the exact reasons I mentioned. All right, let's look at another example. Let's look at a Silver Tempest booster box. Okay, let's see what these are selling for because it looks to me, it looks to me like you can buy one of these boxes for a pretty good deal. Oh my gosh, someone bought $108, somebody bought $108. Okay, that's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good deal, okay? All right, so those are selling for around 100, between 100 and $130 is what I'm seeing right now. And let's look at a CGC 9.5 of the Lugia V All Art. And let's filter to recent solds. Okay, so you can buy this card for $280. Now, I would say it is a little tempting to just go with the booster boxes in this case. You can get almost three booster boxes for the price of one Lugia. So right now, it might not be a bad idea to buy the boxes and then buy the Lugia later. However, you never know. The Lugia could shoot up in price later. The boxes probably won't, but at least, you know, you could get three of them for a pretty good deal right now. I feel like there's a lot of opportunity with boxes at $100. I mean, that's a really, there's a lot of opportunity there. That's all I'll say about that. That's all I really have for you guys. I just wanted to ask the question, like, is it better for you to buy a booster box or is it better for you to buy a graded card big chase card from that set that you really want let me know in the comment section how you feel about it and we'll see you on the next one peace